So Ido, uh, you could come up. And just to remind you to go to the Cozy URL, just put ISCB Cozy into your, your Google search and uh, join whatever communities sound interesting to you. And let us know if you have new um, okay, hi. Uh, good morning, everyone. I wasn't in Michal's talk this morning, but uh, I, um, I I got the tweets a lot, and, and then she alluded to one of the problems that we are all experiencing in, in bioinformatics and life science in general is that we have you know this deluge of data, but, but very little actual information uh, as to, you know, what, what all these sequences and structures and stuff that we are getting uh, is doing. Okay. So um, this is what uh, the automated function prediction uh, uh, COSI is all about. And uh, we are basically um, uh, wrestling with a problem of having lots of data but very little uh, actual functional information and trying to infer functional information from this data. So the goal is to reduce the data information gap in molecular biology. We have too many sequences, not enough knowledge about what they do. Uh, we, so um, one way to solve this, of course, is to assay all uh, the sequences experimentally. That is kind of feasible. Many of them you know, don't even have to start to do that. Assays only work in certain ways. So uh, another, and, and it's slow. And it's, a, and it's probably pretty expensive also. So another way is to uh, us as a community of bioinformaticians to get together and to present uh, a new pro programs, new algorithmic solutions to predicting function from biosequence data, sequence structure. So, uh, but that is not exactly enough. Why is this a community rather than just a, a collection of you know, hackers? Because the idea is that a lot of people have to talk to make this right. A lot of people have to talk to get bioinformaticians, experimentalists, and bio-curators to talk. The bio-curators are the people who uh, assign function to, uh, to do really two big things. One is assign function uh, to uh, uh, sequences uh, manually, and that is how you get you know, the curated databases, and like Swiss protein for Go are, are, are better ones because people actually look at it. They also construct the ontologies. They also uh, give us the machine-readable form of how we uh, can uh, understand the function. So that is really important. Um, experimentalists, of course, do the experiments. We need to, uh, we can't just do everything computationally. We have to have the tags for us. And then we have the bioinformaticians who try to infer computationally from the various cues we get uh, from these other two communities, utilizing the bio-curator's uh, uh, work and the experimentalist work. So it's like this triangle where everybody has to talk, and this is why uh, AFP, the AFP SIG, is, is really a, a, a very diverse community. And we have all three, although we don't have as many experimentalists talking with us as, as we would like. Um, to uh, stir up the pot a little bit, we're running the Critical Assessment of Function Annotation, or CAFA. Um, that is uh, a challenge, a timer-related challenge, like Dream or Task or Camda, which we'll talk about after me, uh, where uh, basically we uh, certain sequences whose function would be known are sequestered, and groups predict the function of an important part of using uh, gene ontology, and this year we also added the human phenotype ontology, which is really a kind of a disease ontology. These predictions are later verified by a series of assessment metrics, and we had that this year. This is the second year that we had it. Uh, the first time we had it was three years ago. And hopefully this will help us drive the field forward in the way that we understand how function prediction works, what works, what doesn't work, and what doesn't work, how can we improve what doesn't work to work better. Uh, just a note of thanks to Christine. She was also, her group was one of the better performers. And this year, actually last time's happened as well. So I'm bad in my of uh, we publish a lot. We try to get out as many papers as we can. Uh, our, people, our community people publish in supplements. We have supplements in protein science, BNC bioinformatics. We're now uh, allied with Giga Science, who's so doing a really great job with us. Uh, we published a flagship paper from the first CAFA on Nature Methods. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a second one in soon. Um, we try to get as many people as we can. Travel fellowships for trainees and students. Uh, speaking of diversity, we have um, a 
think this year we had 40% uh, uh, women speakers, and that is more or less the average that we are running at. So, you know, I think it's great. Uh, not everything is great, but we, I, I think we're doing a decent job of that, and we, we try hard. We get diversity fellowships from the National Institutes of Health to uh, fund uh, women and minorities to come to our meeting. Uh, we present Best Poster and Talk Awards, and uh, we see ourselves as a, as a growing community, and if you're really interested in any aspect of uh, culture prediction, that would be great. Another thing, um, we would like to interact more with other poses, okay? We'd like to become a pose of interact with others. Uh, we already had joint sessions with 3D SIG a couple of times, uh, and with a text mining SIG, uh, other poses. Um, We'd like to, we really need to talk a lot more with Boss here at Hillbar. We really need code, coding power now. And I really, if I did, if I wasn't running my own FP, I would have given a talk on something on an open source project that we have called Open Kafa that uh, we really need to get going. And I see the Boss people as a team for that. So we need to move that. All right. Um, we need to improve ontologies. One of the criticisms, one of the, one of the things that came out from this year's uh, AFP and also last year was that uh, ontologies, uh, some of the ontologies we use, and especially, uh, they need to be more descriptive. So you can't just, gene ontology is great, human phenotype ontology is great, but we need to uh, uh, do more. We need the ontologies because we need the machine readable format. But uh, we have the trade off of having. Uh, an ontology that is machine readable, but somehow uh, may not be as descriptive as it should be. So we need to improve on that, and we need to talk more with the bio-ontologies as well. These people are here. Uh, increased interaction with ISMB, and more visibility with experimentalists. These are the two things we need to do. So I'm done. Thanks, Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.